Good morning. How's everyone what doing? Up, what up? What up? What up? Oh, there he is. What up, lads? How's everyone I need doing? The video. I need the video, please. Getting back into the swing of things. Let's go. It feels like the market. By the way, you like my title right there? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I had to show it off to Tyler. I miss um, I feel like I haven't traded in so long. Because, you know, Friday, there's no action. Last week, there was no action. Like, it feels like, like, Jeff, I took 39 Gs out my account uh, mm -hmm. the other week. So now I only got like, I don't know, maybe like, uh, what do I have? Like 12 grand. And like, I, I, I don't really have much desire to slang anymore. At least some size. Like, I got like five lots on. It's a, you anyway. know what, dude? It's a tough tape. Last week was like the BS. So it's been bad volume, right? And it's been like one step forward, two steps backwards. No real trend. Lots of chop. Lots of uh, news bombs and like divergent news bombs. One thing will be good. One thing will be bad. Like remember the Chinese stocks ran up because China was going to suddenly become the world's first rate democracy and everything was going to be amazing. And now these guys are getting welded shut in their houses again and burning to death. <laughs> so... I hate to say it like that, but it's reality. I mean, God forbid that happens to anyone out there. But, you know. Well, they tried doing the mask in uh, Cali again. Remember that? And they shut it down. And, like, uh, I think L.A. actually, maybe. I know the school board shut it down over the weekend. Those poor kids. And, like, I don't know, if it was San Diego or some county, they voted against it. But, like. Well, yeah, now we're past the election. So they want to start with their bullshit again, right? They want to start with you have to sit <laughs> in your control. house. You control you nailed it you nailed it we're, we're getting back into the rhythm it's coming back i was in north carolina <laughs> I, say, I mean <laughs> i was in nc uh... beautiful state up there i mean the weather's awesome this time of year we were hiking and getting like the you know the great outdoors experience a little different oh yeah how was weather. how was north carolina you see any snow because it's hot as hell here still it's still hot there too but by hot it's like low 60 degrees and oh, i nice. mean high 60 high as 60 degrees and the lows like 40 so at night it gets a little chilly, but in the daytime, it's like perfect to walk around cool weather. Um, but uh, yeah, the market has given us no reason to be enthusiastic, but I think we might have a real volume day today because there's been a quite a bit of news. There's going to be some junkies. I mean, you're, you're impressing me, my friend, with your willpower. There's some junkies out there that have been like hanging around with their family, talking politics, eating too much turkey, drinking a little bit of scotch, and now they're ready to get back mm -hmm. to the business and make some money. So I think there's going to be some things sw swimming around today and this week, actually. I do. What, what do you think? So I was one of the junkies eating turkey, <laughs> eating five, six slices of pie. I was drinking birthday bourbon last night, 75 bucks a shot and smoking an Atabay cigar. So I'm right there being the junkie. Thankfully, I took a lot of money out my can't, so I can't buy 100 lots. Um, what do you think, then, you're going to see rotation into year in? Like, what, what stocks? I think it's going to be, we're going to, let's, let me share my screen. And yeah, I can yeah. Talk about I, I, I was just about to share mine, so grab your. Oh, you want to go first? No, I'll no, look no, at no, some you, macro you, you, stuff, you know. and then we'll look at stocks closer to the open in your screen. How's yeah, I'll mean? do some degenerate stocks towards the end. You know, right. some, some low-priced. Uh, so this week fire. we've got, I mean, I always start with the calendar, the economic calendar in the morning, because that that's been changing everything. Sadly, the Fed still has us hostage, just like the Chinese is still using COVID as a hostage tactic. The Fed has us hostage to these economic numbers. And uh, we've got some big ones this week. We've got... We've got housing numbers coming out uh, tomorrow at nine o'clock. We've got re we've got PMI, which is the big one this week, and that's at the end of the week. And uh, we have GDP. Now GDP is a is a bullshit number that they 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 cook a lot. You know, it's 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 hard to really like question the government's numbers on that. So I'm a little bit of a conspiracy theorist on the GDP. They cook that one a little bit. I mean, but you can't really cook the PMI because you have you have private sector people taking a survey and that data has to be shown. So we'll see. So we've got that that's going to move the market. If we look at the end, if let's look at some indexes here and see what's been happening. So we can get why, some why don't you pull up some uh, some good old fashioned crypto, the Bitcoin. 
I'm done with you. <laughs> don't mention the Sean, war. Sean messaged me and he goes, Jeff lost 10K in crypto. And I'm like, yeah, no, that's not, what he told. Well, no, I made a bunch of money in crypto and I blew out my account when it started, when I lost 50%. Of it. <laughs> so, and I still made a bunch of money. So I, I started with like, I started with like five G's. It went up to like 80 and it was all just fun and, you know, bullshit. And then it went down to like 38 or something like that. And I kicked it all out at like, Oh, that's still really getting good. Getting into the second quarter. But I got rope doped into investing in uh, an exchange in a private placement that I won't mention because I don't want to get sued. But these oh, guys, over <laughs> these guys, they're twins. I'll leave it at that. They're twins. Okay. Do they look alike? And, they and look exactly alike. Did they're they know Mark Zuckerberg, but they got a tan instead of wearing sunscreen? And so they had a round and I had like a bunch of like degenerate Long Island. I call them the Long Island housewives. They're really degenerate guys that are buddies of mine that were like, oh, we have to get in with the twins. They're raising money for the for their exchange. And if the exchange goes as big as Coinbase and they go public. So I, I gave them 10 Gs, but I've written it down to zero in my head because <laughs> <laughs> they might have, they might, they could have, or could, or might not have been. Uh, are, are, are these the Paris Hilton the twins? Thing. Are these the, the Paris Hilton twins? Not Paris Hilton, no. No, not, 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 not. Is it the Kardashian twins? No. No. Well, let's look at this chart here. Twin. Yeah, it was a bad story. So, I mean, it's still an open ended thing if they ever turn something out of their exchange. I mean, there's like a few year lockup, anyways, on it. Have you ever done yeah. a private placement in like a venture thing? Yeah, and I never saw the money again. Yeah, I mean, I wrote yeah, it. Yeah, but I, I I did the same as you. I kind of just wrote it off and and to the sunset. You know, it's like it's like you putting money with Sam Bankman Friedman, and and then you know he's like, yeah, I bought fifty million in real estate in the Bahamas, and you're like, oh well, give me back my little bit of money, and he's like, I was no, on I'm, a call. I'm... I was on a call, funny enough, with the F some like people that were with the FTX thing that were trying to raise money for a fund. It wasn't like the actual exchange. And like the little talking, girl who's the manager? No, but they were trying to raise money and they were talking about they were talking about yield. They were yield, they were it was a yield product. And oh. that that was a fund that was associated with FTX. And I was like, well, what how do you get what do you pay your interest with? Like, cause they were like, it's like zero risk and it's yielding 9%. And I'm like, yeah, right. right. Like you think, do I look like I just landed from fucking Mars? 9% risk-free. Risk-free, so 9%. Yeah. So I'm like, so what's your collateral? How do you guys generate interest? And what's your collateral if you can't pay? And they were like, well, we generate interest from our market making activities of the trade <laughs> of the, of the exchange. And I was like, oh Lord. I was like, oh Lord have mercy. So I, I, uh, I excused myself. From that, oh Jeff, but you shouldn't put all your money in that. From if that it opportunity, sounds, if it sounds too good to be true, guess what? Yeah. It's probably really true. <laughs> yeah, and I was telling the other guys that were on the call that wanted to go on it in a bigger way, that were like in the Bahamas and stuff. I was like, you guys give them any money, and you just hate money. Like even like ten dollars, <laughs> you hate money. So everybody got out of it. But sometimes knowing where like a bomb is is, is as good as like finding a good trade. Avoiding bomb, avoiding yes. blowing up is. Sometimes the name of the game. So let's get back to this NASDAQ chart, this daily chart of NASDAQ. It doesn't okay. look so terrible here, but it's still no, like no, in a massive, no. it's still in a massive down channel, right? All right. year long. But it? we have been consolidating, to be fair. We have been consolidating here, is what I'm saying. It doesn't look terrible, though. It doesn't look terrible. But I mean, China shuts down, semis are going to get smashed again, don't you think? You, I mean, you, you know what got smashed while you were gone and this mm. morning? Apple. Because all the, oh, yeah. the protests and Apple and China and the and they're not letting they're keeping the people stuck in and Foxconn. Look at Apple, how bad it is the past couple. Let's days. look at the daily. Yeah, even this morning it's down uh, another uh, about three bucks or so. So Jeez. very similar yeah. chart to the Nasdaq, right? Apple, yeah, kind of the top stock out there, right? Not Obviously. as bad, not as bad as the Nasdaq actually. Like bad. Nasdaq's still closer to lows, but bad. No, yeah. but. You're getting a 145 print this morning, though. True. So, True. you know, it's it's going to flirt with the breakdown. Yeah. And, you know, if, if Apple goes market, at least the Nasdaq's probably going to go, right? But, like, let's look at this. So these guys need China to stay open to to build their, their widgets and shit. Yeah. They're, uh, the chips They're not down enough. Good. I think there's going to be heavy selling today. I really do. 
not down. Yeah, you know, if you look at Nvidia and AMD, they've actually been holding up very, very well. I mean, to be fair, they're only down about one percent or so this morning, so nothing crazy at all, actually. And I think, but look at I look think... at the run in Nvidia though off the lows. That's a huge move. It's a forty dollar move. I know it. I know it. But it, this was a three hundred dollar stock last last Christmas. <laughs> I know. Last Christmas. I, know. <laughs> last I, I will Christmas. say a, a lot of the growth names. Yeah. Uh, even the bigger growth names, like your PayPal's, your Squares and stuff that had a nice rally, mm. they pretty much gave that all back. I know past, it. That's the, that's all, that, that they let us, they always lead us down and then the other stuff catches up and they keep getting sold off in this. They're leading in both directions, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, if you look at like ARC, how horrible Tesla. It's funny. Horrible. We're like, psych. I was already starting to go there. We're like, yeah. we're on the same page. Just absolutely. ARC hasn't that. even bounced above its 50 day. Look at this thing. It's just dreadful. It's just dreadful. Well, Kathy keeps buying Coinbase. The, the, I think she's taking some kind of. This was $109 ETF last November 29th. Exactly a year ago. She's, I, I think she's taking some stuff. I mean, why is she, she keeps buying coin every dip and it keeps going lower and lower and stuff. I just think she's either crazy or just wants to blow money and end up in prison. One of the two. She got Zoom as her biggest holding. She's yeah, still living in 2000. Zoom. She's living in 2020. Roku could be the worst concept of a company to own at this point. Like who the F needs like a Roku remote? Every single thing, in the, every TV you buy post 2019 has like built in every stream. Built in. Thing. What, what's Roku going to do? How are they going to make money? You know what stock, though, is actually one of my most bullish stocks. And it is everyone in the chat's going to be like, Lance, what are you, <laughs> 85 years old, sitting on a rocking chair? Guess what stock it is? Someone in the chat can, can guess it. I will, I will, I can't give you anything, but I will uh, blow you kisses forever. I don't know. If I ever see you out, I'll buy you a bottle of Louis. Guess what stock? Robert says four. No, older. No, no, no. When? Come on now. When's my what stock of the oh. month, bro? Look at that stock free market. Yeah, so I made a ton up. of money on when. Someone, so Cal Jeff got it right with T. Pull up T. You want to see the best chart in the world? So Cal Jeff's always on the money. So Cal Jeff up there in SoCal, living the life. Yeah, until probably the drinking COVID a Corona. Until the Covidians lock his ass back up for getting sunshine. Yeah, he's probably donating to Gavin Newsom, so he's he's free. <laughs> Look at that in T. Oh, Kawhi, let's go! Hell yeah, that's awesome. And you know how cheap these options are, and like T, Verizon, Warner Bros, all these boring stocks. Yeah, they're so cheap. Who needs a damn Roku? My You're best money spend, flow you know, stock for November. For call. Look at this stock. My best stock for November. I Too love hard. double D's, don't you? Look at how is that? You get me in I've trouble. I made a lot of money on double D's and I'll pay, I'll pay more money here. to play it. Don't get me in trouble. So do we have any earnings to pay attention to or what? What are we looking at here? We pretty much got uh, all the earnings out the way last last couple of weeks. Let's see if there's anything. Maybe we'll get something boring. Like, uh, well, not IBM. But let, let me, I'm taking a look here. Salesforce. Intuit, That's a mover. yeah, Workday. You still got Marvel for the chips. Ulta. Don't you love how they were trying to they were trying to like sell that like it was such an amazing, um, an amazing Black Friday experience because sales were up two percent even though inflation's up eight percent. That's the same old like Biden White House trick. Have you have you have you seen sales were up two percent, but inflation's up, but the cost of everything's up eight percent. So they're happy about it. You have you ever me. seen Black Friday numbers be bad? Every year they say Black Friday sales, record sales, record sales. I'll be honest, I was sitting around um with my aunt and she got the paper, you know, she still looks at the paper, the ads for Black Friday. <coughs> there wasn't anything. Usually you get like Best Buy and, and all these stores and stuff. There was hardly nothing. There was like Home Depot. You could buy a screwdriver for 10 bucks off. Well, I was like, there's no sales. Usually we go out, you know, Black Friday. We'll go out, see the junkies at Walmart, you know, <laughs> like wild gorillas. You, you know, get shot their, at Walmart, bro. Stay out of Walmart. air fryers up. Oh, I saved 20 bucks. And, you know, I'll sit there and laugh and record them and stuff. Walmart's a hunting ground. Don't go there. There was nothing. 
<laughs> there was nothing this year. There was no excitement. I went to you the mall crowd at night. Strike. Like, crowd strike is after the market tomorrow. Crowd strike, yeah. Crowd strike, work day. Yeah, the mall was I, dead, dude. There's a lot of people like window shopping, but nobody's buying stuff. No. You know? I went because I went to the cigar bar next door to the mall. So I walked in Nordstrom. And I was like, hey, you have any sales? He's like, ah, some stuff's like 20, 30% off. But I was like, that's it. There was no like, there's no line at all. Uh, Share the screen. Let's no, look like, at some excitement. of those stocks. Let's look at some of these stocks. Let's look at uh, CrowdStrike and Salesforce and these things and see what they look like for the week. What do I you will think? say, I, I kind of actually like Salesforce. I mean, the stock's been crushed. Get the, yeah, get the up options here. up. Let's go. Let's look at some of this stuff. What do you what do you think the implied move in Salesforce is? Because it's very liquid. I mean, it's not going to be like twelve percent. It's probably more like six percent, six or seven. I don't know. So one sixty five, some resistance, and then let's go to about uh, what's the prior swing low? One forty two and a half. Yeah. So look, I'm going to say the implied move is about eight bucks. Let's see if I'm right. Wow, ten and a half. Yeah. I mean, 10 and a half bucks on a 150 stock. It's what, 7%? 165 calls are about a buck 80. And the. I don't like, yeah. The, one, that's the range. Three puts that's the range. Or two bucks. That's the two range. 10. I mean, I'll be honest. I think, I think they're a little pricey. Well, uh, that's why, that's why it's such a, it's such a pain in the ass, right? That's right. That's what makes it such a pain in the butt. Um, but uh, they're pricing Ooh. us out. And when you have choppy markets, you can't get like these shock moves. You're going to stay within the range, right? For the most part. Yeah. It's just not attractive to trade. I mean, what are you going to do, Jeff? Sell an iron condor and, and <laughs> be a, a, a donkey and get... Uh, damn, these aren't even dollar-wide strikes up here. You know, what are you going to do? Be an iron condor and collect a buck? And, and risk your shirt to make a dollar? No, I thank mean, you. Hell no. I ain't doing Hard pass. Crap. Look at that. You're, you're risking uh, a buck. You're, you're risking about a buck 49 to make a hundred bucks. No, no, mm. no, thank you. What else do we have this week? You said into it? No, we had uh, HPE, Hewlett Packard. That's a stock that doesn't have probably a high implied. So that might be a. Oh, wow. It might, but it's moved. You know what shocked the world last week? Dell and mm. uh, Bed, uh, Best Buy. Best, Best Buy. Best, Best Buy, was Buy had yeah. a huge move to the upside. Rising. Huge squeeze. Huge move. Yeah, but I mean, how much more upside Everyone is thought that? no one's buying computers, so, you know. Stock went up, huh. obviously. Yes, yeah, but now it's priced in again. Now right. it's now it's priced in again. What are some names out there? Someone mentioned Walmart, Target. What are some names out there? God, look at Walmart and Target so bad. What are some names out there that can shock the world where we can find some underpriced options on? That's what I want to look for. Where can we're we kind of at the deals? end. We're kind of at the end though, right? Like of the big ones. We are, but where can we get some Cyber Monday option deals? And my computer just froze, I think. Oh, great. All right, let's try that again. What do you think, Jeff? Where can we get some? It doesn't have to be earnings specifically. But what you mean are, like what a retail surprise, like upside surprise? I think this, I think the gaming companies, maybe like an like Activision or Electronic Arts. I think my kids are still bombarding me with freaking games where you shoot people in the head all day. What about <laughs> this? What about you? Unity Software. That's a video game stock. Mm -hmm. It's not That's looking bad. A... Nope. What's the other one? Roblox. Roblox. All the could kids be one still too. play this. Oh god! Yeah, my son loves that thing. It's gotten smashed. I like that thing, for sure. I do too. What about uh? You said EA. EA. God, the options are cheap. I know the stock yep. doesn't move much, but yeah. God, I mean, it hasn't. I know Microsoft had some news with Activision, the the block of the deal. Right. What about our good old friend DraftKings, the junkie stock? <laughs> I will okay. say, stock had a stock huge reversal. Firm. The chart yeah. looks firm. 
look solid after going down at like what eleven dollars on post earnings. Well, they were that, good earnings they got, too. They were good earnings and they smashed. Yeah, and they got caught. They got hacked the other day. Um, getting you just the people's see money. Carl Icahn's going after GameStop. What's that stuff doing? Wait, what? Carl Icahn said he's going after. He's shorting GameStop. He's shorting it down here. Yeah. Wow! Last Carl, I, has Carl uh, has Carl lost it? I mean, why is he shorting it down here? The stock the stock's been a pig for. I think that's. I think he could make another pop in it by shorting it. I think we get another squeeze. Right. Is what I'm saying. I think you might be able to fade old man Carl. He might be getting a little bit too cocky here. So, do you think all the shit stocks are going to squeeze then, like AMC? Oh, Marco's uh, saying he shorted in July. Is he still short though? Is the question? What really matters? Oh. Is if he's if he's still short, then you can get a squeeze, it, especially if the floats consolidated in his portfolio. Well, if he's short it in July, then he got squeezed ten bucks. I'm, I'm saying he. I'm saying. I'm saying the opportunity to get squeezed is high if he's still short. I yeah, don't know that. It, if the market finds out he's still short, they'll squeeze him. They'll squeeze his butt out. You so. know what's amazing though? I don't know if people know this or not. You have to report all your longs in 13D filings, but not your shorts. Not your shorts. Weird, right? I know. Even, but if you, if you have puts, though, you have to disclose and stuff. Yeah, but puts can always just be hedges, right? Yeah, they I can mean, be. They people can who be. have big short positions in stocks, that's the directional bet they have on. Options can be just hedges. You can be just. Yeah, exactly. And, and two, you always, usually you'll get someone buying put options against a long stock portfolio as like an insurance policy. Ahead, I, got a, like that. I got a guy asking me about when. So when is my stock, my money flow stock this month? Oh, yeah. Stock's up about four bucks pre-market. Yeah. Yeah. So people are like, right here, take money? Flirting with about, uh, flirting with the, the prior high up here around 78 bucks or so. I said, we, we love the like, casinos, huh? They love the casinos, man. Despite all the China news, look at the look at when I had when the other week it made about 175 percent. So I was, you yeah, know, I had a real good week on when, but people love gambling. And what are they going to do during Christmas time, Jeff? They're going to sit and listen to their father in law's opinion and put bets on the uh, sports or go to the casino. <laughs> to get or what they're the going to do is say, "Hey, family, it was nice spending the holiday with you for three hours." I got to run off to the casino and gamble some money away. Get my. I feel like you're attacked. I, I feel attacked by that comment. Are you like? Do you have like cameras in my house? No, I. So <laughs> I had I had a, a good I'm friend kidding. of ours during yeah. Thanksgiving. Him and Normal his mom. Life. Guess where they went? The casino. Everybody does. Not everybody, but this is. We have like a full casino. You have one in Tampa too, but we have a full casino down the street in Miami. You have and a nice casino down. A there. nice casino. Scotty saying his DD is up 300%. Let's D, effing How go. do you hold on to double Ds that long? Because we have, because that stock is, is breaking out, bro, and the market's bearish. What do you think it's going to do if the market gets a little bullish? I, w- I want to be a man <laughs> like Scotty where I could hold on to double Ds for 300%. Because I you, they're, li- they're learning from me. You got Listen, we have some other positions you got to hold it against, but that's how you make money. <laughs> You got to hold. It's actually hold harder to sit in a winner than it is to. Oh yeah. Is to, they say cutting losers is the hardest thing. I disagree. I think the hardest thing is sitting in a winner and letting it actually make you a lot of money. That's Always. the hardest. That is the hardest. But someone uh, in the chat mentioned uh, Punudo Dudo PDD. It's up ten bucks pre market. I will say this: I don't trade the China anymore. Hopefully, they're not listening or spying on us. But no. I have banned China from me. I'm a non I'm a non ADR man anymore, so I can't give opinions or they advice. They just meddle too TV. much. They meddle too much. It's like, have you ever been a high lie? Do you know what high lie is? Yeah, yeah. When they fix it, where you see like Pedro drops the ball, and you're like, "Why did you drop that?" <laughs> then it's like because it's fixed. That's how the Chinese stock market is. It's just <laughs> it really fixed. is. It's just totally fixed. So if you like playing another a game that somebody has massive edge over you then you're going to get broke. And I, I just don't play it because you can only invest in it for long-term and I wouldn't invest in it long-term either, but to trade it on a short-term is like suicidal at this point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, Warren Buffett had a, 
what, what I remember when they got when they bought Baba, uh, who was it, Charlie or something? They bought Baba at like 200, then they bought more at like 140, and then it popped to 180. I mean, now they're down more than 50 percent. I mean, mm. even if Buffett's buying Baba in China, I can't. I just I have no desire for any of the China stuff out there. Dude, this guy, so. they're rioting in the streets right now, man. You see what's happening there? It's yes. not just like, oh, we're, like people are like, F you. We're not staying home anymore. That's going to that's gonna get worse. It's not gonna and get that's better. communist China saying this. This is not like, you know, Germany or Brazil saying, fuck the government. This is China. We're like, but I'm you saying, stay in your like, house till you get married. But I'm saying this is the beginning stages of a potential like massive social upheaval, which I don't want to be anything, have anything to do with, like from a financial standpoint of view. I root them on, but it's going to be nasty for the country. Um, and it's going to be nasty for the economy of the world, too, because what do you think he's going to do? You think he's going to like you think the strong man like like people like she they, you know, this might not sound sane, but it's kind of like those guys don't go quietly into the night. It's like Saddam Hussein. Like the guy has to be like hung up in the middle of the street by his feet. Like that's how those guys go out. They don't go out nicely and quietly and like concede. There's no, there are no concessions coming from Xi Jinping. Not, if anything, he's just going to ratchet it up the other way. He's going to go hardcore commie. Watch. Or did Putin. you see what he did with uh, uh, Justin uh, Trudeau? Where he was like, hey, why are you talking shit to the public when I talk right. to you personal? Yeah. I it mean, like, to be wow. to be fair, that guy is an asshat too. <laughs> that's just a different... That's, Nancy, that's neither like, here nor there. Smithfield. That's neither here nor there, you know? Nancy, I'm with you. You don't want to buy those, those hogs from China. You never know what they put in them anyways. Um, so, so I'm looking at a week where volume is going to come back this week. We've got on the 30th, we've got PMI. Everyone got super excited that there's no inflation. They're like, let's see. Uh, even who, if there's no, inflation, there's no inflation, I think. Katrina? No, we went from eight. <laughs> that's what, that's what, uh, the little that's puppy what they're girl saying told at the you? White House. I read it in the New York Times. Oh, okay. okay. So yeah, there's no inflation anymore. Uh, the mm. economy's in full swing. Yeah. Thanksgiving prices were cheaper than last year. They barely Yeah, up. they're up. Record sales. Record sales. Even though inflation's up 8%, they had 2% higher than last year. Record that, sales. That's great. That's fantastic. Maths Everyone's is hard. Good. Maths is very hard. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I'm a... God, look at Mark. What an animal. I'm still up. I'm still in DD. I'm up 425%. <laughs> Mark, I have you're DD a better man money than flow I am. Elite. Did you trade that too? Yeah, I had I had double D. I bought some December calls. Yeah. I didn't I didn't hold them through earnings. If I did, I'd be up probably right around where Mark is. I made good yeah. money on them, but I yeah. didn't hold them that long. I didn't buy them in size either. I should have. Um, uh, they do have a divvy upcoming, actually tomorrow. So, I mean, technically, we can't tell you what to do. I can we can only tell you what we did or we are in. And I closed my double D already, sadly. But um, I mean, it's only a 33 cent dividend. But, you know, if the market rallies, it's probably going to rally at a, a greater rate. If the market sells off, well, it's been holding up still. So, uh, Jeff, anything on double Ds? You got to see the open today, but I like that stock. Into, I like that stock until Wednesday. I mean, yeah, I mean, they have, we'll see. Yeah, I, I was actually marked mentioned super micro computer i was actually just looking at this one this morning cm c s m c i i think the option liquidity still isn't great yeah it's still pretty wide but it's probably going to flirt with 100 here super micro computer yeah i actually like some of the metals too down here like gold and silver yeah uh silver was pretty strong last uh last couple of weeks oil's like gotten it. smashed too Oil's gotten a bit over overcooked, especially on the open here. Yeah, yeah. Oil's been a, uh, you know, they they want to the 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 gas station owners are lowering the price of oil since Biden told them so. Um, you know, they That's listened. Cool. They listened. But you know, I, I do like the metals here a little bit. Names like Pan American Silver, P A A S, Wheaton Precious Metals, the old silver yeah. Wheaton, uh, W P M. Uh, first majestic silver ag and then helka 
HL. If you like the cheap not cheap names, HL, AG, uh, very cheap metal plays. Uh, if you want to go with gold, obviously Barrett Gold is usually a top dog. They do have a dividend approaching. Beware. Newmont needs some volume. You know, Newmont used to be a great oil uh, gold stock. Just it hasn't done crap but sell off lately. Um, or obviously you could, you know, trade the ETFs if, if you're that kind of guy, but I'm not. <laughs> if you're that kind of guy. Well, I think we got to the end of the show, but I have a little presentation talking about a class I'm doing today because I think okay. there's going to be heavy volume. You know, I like to trade the close and I like to trade that heavy volume on the close. So I think there's going to be some sick opportunities. You've seen this strategy. I know there's people here that haven't. Don't have the burn dice. notice. Huh? Give me some dice. Let's hear it. It's going to be some burn notice. I'm going to, I'm going to run through what the system does, but at okay. three o'clock today, I'm going to live trade the burn notice. So for people who sign up, you're going to get to see it in real time on what I believe to be like a really important trading day after all the BS holiday Turkey trading. So let me share my screen so I oh, can yeah. go through this. Wins up 6%, by the way. So uh, if, if, you, if you're giving out trades like when count me in. You know I am, bro. Come on. And double Ds. I want more. I want more double Ds in my life. The, you know, oh, ball don't lie. I mean, they they just they thank God they I'm show single, you right? in the tea leaves. So this is like the opposite of the money flow elite. This burn notice, and so this is a, a short term trade. This is a trade that I do that we're gonna get out the next morning. We get in at night. We get out the last morning. So today I want to invite you to a live trading session, three thirty. You see, if you're trading any time besides right before the market's closed, you're taking an automatic kill shot to the head. Take a look at this report from Bespoke Premium, right? So you buy the SPY after hours versus regular trading hours since inception, buy the close, sell the open, and this is back since 93. You've made 812%. You already know this, Lance, and like most people know this. All the money is made overnight. Like in the middle of the day, if you just buy the open and sell the close, you've lost 10% since 93, right? Fool's right. game. Buy the close, sell the next open. Just the, just the S&P, not even individual stocks, was 812%. So there's no money to make, be made during the day. Actually trading during the day would have, in fact, lost money, minus 10% in a, almost a 30-year period. But just before the market closes, we've been able to exploit some of the most profitable overnight trades I've seen. So you're always saying, and I agree with you, that just like the index is a boring way to trade. But if you think yeah. about what you could do at individual stocks compared to what the market done, you could do, in my opinion, multiples over that 800%, right? So let's look at like a fun juiced up stock, NXP semis, 19% overnight in one day, in one night. Uh, Morgan Stanley, 20% overnight, just quick, quick in and out, quick in and out. American Express, 60% overnight. So I called, and, I, and, and, and these setups that I'm talking about, I'm not trading like... Uh, I'm not trading weeklies. I'm not trading like super far out of the money options. I'm trading very plain vanilla, very boring options where you're not going to lose 100% overnight in the option, most likely, unless like nice. an, a, a meteor hits the company or whatever. I call these setups a burn notice, right? No strategy is going to win all the time. There's big returns, small returns, losers, yada, yada, yada. But these burn notices are special because they attack Wall Street. We've got the high ground. We hit them in the Achilles heel. The last hour trading, there's a little known market anomaly that forces Wall Street to surrender. Wall Street's like a bank. If someone deposits the money in the bank, they want to get that money right away, right? If someone withdraws money, the bank has to free up cash. When they do that, they got to just sell the stock. They're price agnostic. They don't care at what price they sell at that day. They just got to be out by the close, artificially pushing certain stocks lower. This is actually a big weak point for Wall Street. It take Goldstein at Wharton, much more educated than I am in like conventional wisdom anyways. When skittish yeah. stakeholders cash out, fund managers may have to conduct costly and unprofitable trades. Could you imagine having to, to transact an unprofitable trades, Lance? To Hell to no. But they have to, right? To they raise redemption capital. So they don't care about the price. When a stock falls out of the sky, that's when I call the burn window. These cash bleeds from unprofitable trading, they form the window at the end of the day. Look at Broadcom on April 28th. Right at three, there was a burn notice. Stock fell into the burn window. And then Wait, boom. you talk about Broadcom? I was just about to buy some weeklies in it. God damn, this was a fine a, reader. <laughs> you trade this. We trade that. We swim in the same pools. Let's put it that Literally, way. Literally, I just pulled it up. The uh, 
the weekly uh, calls on it, literally right now. Hell Pretty yeah. Funny. That's stock moves. It's a fun one. Here's what's yeah. really important though. If you're trading any time right before the market closed, you're taking an automatic kill shot to the head. So let's take a look at what would have happened. 10, 10 o'clock in the morning, if you wanted to start buying that thing, boom, it's just getting burned all day long, right? 12 o'clock, now you're breaking even. 2 p.m., same situation. It's clear, trading outside the burn window does not give you great results, plain and simple. When you trade in the burn window, like very close to the end, 56% overnight. So let them do the work for you. Every day, Wall Street firms are getting buy and sell orders from clients, billions of dollars moving back and forth, about 1.8 billion on average. Big funds, they wait until the end of the day to see how much cash they need to give clients, and they pull it all out. End of day trading tends to be dominated by institutional investors, mutual funds, Kathy, our favorite, people like that. They execute trades so they know how much cash they need to cover, to cover the day's redemptions. Charles Schwab said that. I've been doing this for decades. It hasn't changed since the beginning of my trenches with these investment firms. Now take a look at PayPal. Look at this PayPal burn notice. There was Ooh, a burn at 3 p.m. You like this stock. You trade PayPal. I love right? it. I got 40 Gs in it. Better go up. Let's go. Some big <laughs> wing probably called up the floor trader. So we need a ton of cash. When the yep. PM decides to trade the position, that large position in that short period of time, the heavy volume drives down the price. And a portion of the shares are sold at the lower price. That was US News. It happened again in Biomarin Pharma. Have you ever traded that one? BMR. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a junkie stock. It's a stock. junkie stock. That's a Love junkie it. stock. This is not your grandma and grandpa's uh, slow moving ETFs that I'm talking about here. <laughs> Right. So remember, it ain't, it ain't ten dollar in the money call spreads. Uh, from no. A, and from a, when these guys yeah. puke these stocks, they have to. Right. Heavy volume drives down the price artificially for a short period of time. You see these big volume bars at the end of the day drives down all the way down below its fair value. The next day, when the market opens again and that pressure was off the stock, Biomarin shot back up to normal, twenty three percent move overnight, real quick. Makes a lot of sense, right? If you can spot this heavy volume going in crashing stock near the market close, you can spot these burn notices nearly every single day. There's no better example of this concept than what happened in August on 24th. This is one of my best weeks. Look at what would have happened if you would have started with $2,500 uh, at the beginning of the week and you put it in each trade. Day one, you would have made $276 overnight in NVIDIA. Day two, you would have made $560 again in NVIDIA. Day three, $140 overnight in Albemarle. Ooh. Ooh. Day four, you would have made $300 overnight in Under Armour. And day five, you would have made $546 in Apple. Day Ooh. six, I'm keep, I'm still, I was streaking, Lance. I'm How still going. How many days you got in a week? <laughs> keep going. $649 in Walgreens. Day seven, $181 in JD. So while not one, like they don't, those are not massive numbers, right? That, that wouldn't be life-changing on its own. If you add it all up without any compounding, so if you didn't increase your position with the increase of your portfolio, you would have made $2,656 by the end of the week. That ain't yeah. bad. Taking Not like very all. measured risks, in my opinion. So I got to remind you, there's always risk of loss. You should never risk more than you can afford to lose. Yeah, yeah we all know that. We all know that. I don't want you to be, Jeff. I don't want you to be like, you know, body slamming people at Walmart to save $50 on a video game. Uh, if you're that desperate, <laughs> Don't take, <laughs> you should not be in the market. By sticking to the system, <laughs> the results are outstanding. 56 win percent on 364 trades. We trade a lot. We trade a lot, right? That's not a great number, like on the surface at 56%. But I have a tiered system in my 2%, my two-star system, which are the higher, the higher bet, the bigger put, bet size. Put more money. It's in the yeah. mid 60. It's got a higher win rate with a higher money, okay? My average winner is 168 is 1.68%, and that's just overnight. And then 15% uh, overnight return winner per lose, uh, per winner, 15% per winner. That's 336% annualized, which is which ain't bad, dude. It's not bad at all, right? And I'm, again, all. I'm taking, Shoot. I'm just doing my recommendations in very liquid. And this is something that Lance and I have in common. We don't like we do, to trade- We do liquid. very liquid options. We don't do these options where you could drive a truck through the bid ask and- and hope and pray you get filled. We do usually, you know, a lot penny, of people in our business, wide, a lot of people wide. in our business like to, like to, like to, you know, they like to make it look really nice and recommend things that you, know, you can't get any size on because there's more movement in them. I don't think that's genuine. 
Lance doesn't think so. So we're 330% with very liquid options. I'm proud of that. Some of my best students have been able to see real transformation. Here's some of the top stories. James, $1,200 from 5G. Easy to trade. Let's go, James. James, Greg. 4,500 so far for Greg B. Uh, Mike, 160% overall gain in Etsy. Let's go, Mike. Those are some Damn. amazing stories. They keep going on. We get a lot of these. I love those messages when we get them. Today, I'm going to invite everybody here. Lance, you could be there too if you want. You could, you could, you could be on there doing trades with me if you want to. 3 30. Burn notice, 3 30 Eastern. Of course, it's Eastern. We're in the United States and New York rules the United States and probably the world. So when I say 3 30, I'm not talking about Hawaii for SoCal Jeff. I'm talking about Eastern <laughs> Standard Time. Inside my premium trading circle, burn notice alerts. Nothing's going to make me happier than seeing you gain confidence in your trading starting today, which is why I'm doing something super special. Let me show you all the perks of being a member of Burn Notice. You get the alerts. That's 200 trades at a minimum. That's a lot of trades, even for a junkie like you, Lance. Like you That's would be a lot. satisfied That's with a lot. With 200 trades at a minimum, right? We send emails, we send cell phone alerts. I'll give you the field manual. I'm going to show you how to play two-way burn notices, how to execute precision ex exits, how you can put out algo trades where you can trade out TWAP, VWAP with set times. I'm going to show you the million-dollar formula, what my scanners and analysts are looking for every single day to find the real burn notices and not the false positives. I'm going to show you how you can burn notices 101, how to start in any account. Uh, I'm going to do a coaching call every month. We get together live like we're doing now, but this is specifically for the members where we talk hardcore, what the system's doing, what I'm seeing. And I know a lot of pros in the stock market will charge about two G's per session for that coaching. Like, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Remember when we came into this, we were like, how much are we charging for that? They were like, oh, it's free. I was like, wait, what? I almost passed what? out. I almost That's passed out. I used to consult hedge funds and it was like five figures just to have like, you know, some sessions. Burn notice alerts. You're going to get it for free. All this stuff Ooh. comes packaged inside 24 seven online members portal. You're going to get a username. You're going to get a password as soon as you join today. That ain't it. You get an ultimate deal. I want to take all the pressure off everybody. You get 30 days. 30 days. If 30 it ain't days. for you, if it's too much action, this, listen, this is a high action strategy. This is too much action for you. You get 30 days to try it out. If any reason you don't like it, call our team in Ponte Vedra. We give you every penny back if you don't, if you don't have another system that you want. You'll want another system because you got everybody there. You got Lance, you got my other system. There will be something for you. But if you are just done with the markets, we'll give you your money back. I don't want unhappy people. So I'm taking all the risk, putting it on me. Every dollar that comes out of that, that you want back, comes directly out of my pocket. So the onus is on me to perform, which I like. You join today. I ain't asking for 10 Gs. I talked to my team. We agreed to set the retail price at 3,000, almost 3,000 a year. Today, what? I'm going to... That's, you know, I'm going to let That's, people. I was going to say three grand, Jeff. All right. Give me a deal though. It's it's Cyber Monday. I know you got right. a deal today. So let's hear it. We're going to test drive this thing. Anybody's watching today. We don't do this normally. Okay. You come here at 3.30. We got a deal. You ready for this rare opportunity? Join at 3.30. It's going to be much cheaper. Join today. Uh, you can use any brokerage account. All of these. Uh, it's very plain vanilla. Nothing Ooh. wild. I like no vanilla. selling options. Just buying call or buying a put every night. I don't care about decay. Doesn't matter. We're holding it for just a few periods of time. We're not playing okay. the Greeks. Doesn't matter. We're directionally betting stocks via options. I like that. At the end of the day. And how much would you day. say and the average option is? A couple of hundred bucks. I try to keep it oh, under three dollar options. What I love. I love. I'm looking at three dollars and less for the options. Good, I don't good, like good. it if it's over that. So you can put on good. two, you can put on one, you can put on twenty. I don't really care. And it's got to be good. liquid. There's got to be at least a few hundred trading yeah, yeah, yeah. typically uh and over a few thousand uh total so I know why. Yeah. yeah exactly you don't have to look at a chart until three just place a trade before uh closing bell close it out the next morning you don't have to stare at charts all day you can enjoy life like lance and i do you don't have yeah. to worry about the what markets do next the best part about this strategy is you get out in the morning and then you can go enjoy your day and then come back at the close how cool is that like I love it this was literally a strategy a lot of people don't know the background of this there's a big ass hedge fund prop firm that started this threat, like that started a very similar system. And I knew guys that were making seven figures a year doing very well with this particular strategy. Ooh. Um, 
I don't know if I could say this on this thing, but I'm going to say it anyways as the background. They would go play golf. They would go play golf in Boca or like gin rummy at the beach with each other and just come back and (laughs) have a big (laughs) ass. These old guys have a big ass lunch, but you don't have to sit there all day. You can do all this stuff you enjoy. So they can start today with a brand new trade and there's going to be heavy volume today. I I can already sniff it. And we're going to have a live training team, trading room today. We don't always have that. So really? here's some what the, time's that? 3.30, 20% for Robert A. Uh, Mike learned a lot, but he loved that he made money. My win rate, his win rate was over 80%. Let's go, Mike. Damn, Mike. Mustafa started with 1,300, made 53%. Michael S. made 9,370 in a week. Uh, but usually Jeez. at least a couple of thousand a week. That sounds Mike like... Plus. That sounds like an extra gig. That sounds like a side hustle. I can't say that either, but I just did. No, you are can't you gonna say jump that. in Cancel on my Jeff. Most, Cancel Jeff. Are you gonna jump into my my most elite training group? Join at three thirty. What's the first trade gonna look like? I can't promise future results. Results are gonna be winners, gonna be losers. Mm-hmm. Burn notice is the only trade I know to tap into these overnight setups. Take a look at my best burns. Albemarle fifty four. Chevron made sixty one percent. This Ooh. is one night. Saint Joe's. You ever trade that one? The Florida. Oh Root no, Man not company. in a while. Wow. 113 percent that's a banger look at these jeff Check keep talking because the more you talk the more the market catches a bid so keep going let's go so get your first overnight trade starting today uh 3 30 we're gonna have a live trading room question is what are you gonna do with the opportunity you're gonna have your first burn notice today these spots are gonna fill up quick because we have an awesome deal you can go about your life as if you've never seen this broadcast you can ignore evidence that trading at the end of the day into the morning is pretty much the only way to do short-term trading. You can deny the research done by market pros showing that almost all the stock market gains happen overnight. And you can go back to trading during the day on your own, hoping things change. You can do that. Just remember, if one year from now you're in the same spot as today, it was your choice. Or take the first step with me today. Take action. Get your first trade before it's too late. Let's go. We've got an awesome community. We've got a lot of these guys are probably watching these. They watch, they watch all our stuff. We had 300 they people do. the Monday morning after Thanksgiving weekend. Think about that. Well, everybody's still hung over trip to fan. Yep, whatever I, else I, I might even you. join you today at three 30 because guess what? There ain't, What's up? there ain't nothing moving right now in the market. So I'm, I'm thinking to myself, why am I trying to trade right now? Why don't I just trade the clothes? I mean, trade the clothes. I'll just That's trade how you the do clothes it today. So uh, maybe it's Don, still some premium, but that's about it. And remember, there's a 30 day, there's a 30 day burn proof money back. Deal. You get money you back. You get chicken wings from Hooters if you don't like Super it. Chill. No, he doesn't do that, but he does give you a, a a money back guarantee. You know, we have a good team who does all that. You know, we don't we don't handle the money. We just give you all deals if we can if they tell us to. I think the link is in the chat. Yeah, uh, I just clicked on the link. Let me let me look. Oh, dude. That's right there. It's this cheap? Did they tell you how cheap it was? I know how cheap it is, but we have reasons we can't say it on this thing because they're going to be watching it on YouTube and this and oh, that. Oh, yeah. Pro- wow, what a deal. Look, they're probably going to mess Look at Joe. Things. This is one of the coolest comments I've ever heard. Thank you, SoCal Jeff. I love burn notice. Sad when they don't come out. That's how you know you're, you're that's how you know you're doing something right. That's, that's how, how you know you're a good junkie, too. Dude, Let's go. have you realized how cheap this is? I just clicked on the link. I don't know if I can say. I well, we want to get people. No, nah, don't say it because we there are going to be video recordings and there's all kind of legal stuff around. Wow, that. what a deal. This is the time. Yeah, get in it. there today. If y'all don't have it, try it out. This is the day to get in. And you get the free class later. So Dude, I just spent this much on drink, one drink for me and two drinks for uh one of my lady friends last night. And it was, I mean, it was okay, but I mean, this is super cheap. Wow. I'm telling you. I can't believe I, it. Why do you think, I, well, we'll talk off, but man, you know, my, I know what you're going to say. How are you going to make yeah, any money? How are we going to make any money selling trades like this? I don't I'll, know. I'll do this. I'll, I'll keep my finger over my mouth, but it is a great deal. If you can sign up, Jeff, send me a link for three 30. Maybe I'll come on and, and be in the chat. You know, how many trades are we getting today at 3.30? Just one every day. There can only be okay. one. That's why no, it doesn't serious, buy up guys. a lot of your capital I didn't, either. I didn't, know, I didn't know the price, Sandy. I really didn't. I mean, to be honest with you, I didn't even know Jeff had a thing today. 
you really want to know. Dude, it's usually way more money. And we don't usually offer it on limited time basis like that, like this. It's usually way no. I mean that I know. So that how, I know. How often um how often so I'm gonna when we first introduced today. it, it was over two grand a year when we first introduced it, or right around that. When when do you do your monthly coaching calls? First of the month? I do it at the end of the month. Oh, so you're gonna be doing it what next couple of days? Yeah. Yeah, actually, oh, wow. I think at the end of the week, might be the beginning of December, but oh, end of the month, beginning that. of the new month, I do it. Interesting. Yeah. Well, let's go, dude. Very, we got a, we got some trades to do, but I, I know I went on for a little bit too long today. We, I, If you all like these sessions, please like us, subscribe. Uh, you guys are really uh, committed to watching, a, to, to, to being a you're, part of this you're tribe. You're drivers. Yeah. You, you, you egg us on, even with this boring ass market sometimes or the stupid news stories or the BS stuff coming out of the government. Um, it makes it enjoyable to interact with everybody to start the week. So let's know, yeah. let us know if you enjoy Crush the Open because I think Don't. we're doing something a little bit different than the normal stuff we've been doing and uh, something we enjoy doing anyway. So. Jeff, can you give me a teaser what the stock's going to be? I don't know, man. The list doesn't come out. I got to start seeing the volume and how much movement's happened. Oh, it's so by, you wait, you literally wait to the end of the day because when you were talking earlier, the market caught a bid. Now it's selling off. So I'm actually I'm getting, glad I'm gonna get, I I'm listened gonna, to you. This I'll morning. give you some bottom line. It's a, it's, it's a fade strategy. It's a contra market strategy. And I need the whole day worth of selling or buying to know which, which way it's going to be. So you better more, not short, we it buy, better not be Amazon on Cyber Monday. We over, we, we buy oversold stuff and we short overbought stuff at the end of the day hmm. to be very, to be very clear. To be concise. I'm going to start doing some research and find out what it is then. Hell yeah. Oh, we're getting called Pirate and the Sheik. I love that. Oh, Bibby saying great session. All right. Thank you all. Join thank, now. Thank you. Today, if you don't have burn notice and you're in all of our other systems, get the damn burn notice. It's unbelievable. Yeah. If you're watching on YouTube, like, subscribe, do all that, order us a drink or two. <laughs> um, and then we will be back next Monday. And, and I will say this. To it's good to positive, be back, too. I'm yeah. having fun today being back. To end I on a this. positive note, I do think, and like you said earlier, I do think, you know, today you're still going to get a little bit of hangover and travel people. But I do think by mid or end of the week, especially as we approach December, you're going to see some volume coming back in the markets. And that's just, you know, a broad overview. You know, the past couple of weeks, it's been very light. There's no, uh, there's no denying that everything's been very light, but once everyone comes in today, travel plans, all that stuff, we start getting into December winter time, you'll start getting some moves in the market again. So don't worry if you're like, man, there, there's not, not a whole lot to do. December's there a mega month. December's yeah. a mega trading month. January is the biggest trading month. So if you're not like getting ready for January and December, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, you're going to have people to uh, December fund managers who are like, oh, man, I got to do something. They'll be desperate trying to make return for year end. You're going to start getting a lot of volume, a lot of action in the markets again. Um, so there's you know, tax loss harvesting. There's all kinds of stuff that happens. There's all. Kinds yeah. Of so if, if you've been, you know, I can only speak for myself. I've been very light the past probably two or three weeks. Yeah, it is going to start ramping up again here. Agreed. Um, Agreed. And uh, I'm ready, uh, man. I, yeah, I'm ready so for get it. prepared. I'm in. You know, it, it's like you're, you know, you got to treat this, even though, you know, I'm no athlete at all, but mentally, yeah, you, you got to treat this like, hey, you've had a little bit of a, of a, a brain relaxation. Now start getting that momentum to work again and start, you know, start getting that, uh, the, the blood flowing in that big head to start, <laughs> uh, to start making some trades and getting prepared for year end. Now's the time. And Jeff, they get, they get a good deal with you. 30 days. I think it's a good deal. And it's a system that I love in this type of market with volatility and choppiness, because we don't have to get the direction right for days and days and days. We just have to be there for a hot few hours. And so uh, I want a hot when, minute. That's what I'm saying. So it's a real good strategy for that, for that sort of action, for this sort of action. So LFG guys, have a great day. I'll see you all at 3 30. All Peace. right. I'll see you at 3 30. Thanks, Lance. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Holla holla. Thanks, everyone.